Hello YouTube, this is the first video in what I hope is a bit of a series. I've got a selection of ADSB antennas. Um, I won't go into what ADSB is because I think there's a, a wealth of information out there on what it is, but uh, suffice it to say, it's for receiving aircraft communication. And what I've got is a selection of antennas and I also have this nifty little uh, VNA. So what I want to do is connect the antennas to um, the VNA and just see what uh, kind of performance they are. The lower the SWR, the standing wave reflections, the better the uh, antenna should perform. So more energy should end up at our receiver. So more efficient antenna. Bear in mind this is receive. We, we don't, um, don't transmit with these um, antennas. It's all about monitoring. So what I'll do in sequence is attach the different antennas to the uh, VNA and just see what kind of SWR we get on 1090 megahertz. So I've got a, a variety. This is one of the uh, spider style antennas made from a website, uh, design, designs on a website. This one's a PCB style antenna. So it's basically a, a, a small dipole. I've got a digital video antenna that was cut down to size. I've just got a bit of foam to, uh, to protect the tip because it can be quite sharp once you actually cut the metal. This antenna here was um, provided along with the SPS3 made by Kinetic. Fantastic piece of kit. I'm not quite sure what happened to Kinetic Avionics because um, they don't seem to be uh, be doing very much these days, but that SPS3 was, uh, was an amazing piece of kit and uh, it's forebearer, the uh, SPS1ER is actually what got me into uh, ADS-B and aircraft uh, tracking or radar spotting back in 2009. And then this one over here on the far on the left is um, one of the antennas you can buy with uh, from a, a popular Chinese uh, online marketplace. Uh, initials begin A and E. So I'll uh, just connect them and we'll see what kind of performance they get. So first up, is the PCB antenna, mainly because I left, uh, had this already connected, and that's coming at um, 1.6 SWR on uh, 1090 megahertz. The next up is the uh, antenna from uh, that Chinese Su uh, online uh, marketplace, and now that gives quite a bit of a different picture. So at, uh, one, at 1090 megahertz, it's coming out at about 2.2, and that's what the, uh, the graph looks like. Next up is the uh, antenna that came with the SPS3. Um, I've uh, brought this just a bit closer, purely because it, uh, it's easier and it'll stay standing, whereas the uh, the previous one was kept wanting to fall over. But here, what 1090 megahertz? We're looking about 1.8 SWR. That's roughly what the graph looks like. Next up, we have the digital video antenna that's been cut down to size. Um, it's coming out about 1.2. I have had to add in this uh, connector purely because it's an M the antenna itself is an MCX style and I needed to get it into the SMA style so it's just that extra connector in there other than that it's uh, like the others so coming out about 1.2 next up we've got a spider style antenna this is actually the very first one I uh, made based upon the online designs the SWR is quite poor on this one it's 5.5 um, so the marker at 1090 megahertz is all the way up here. There are some troughs down here, so this antenna would benefit from some tuning. Might involve cutting uh, some of the radials or the element down to size. So as and when I get time, I might try and uh, play with that one. Now this is a another spider antenna, and it's the second one I made. It's uh, coming out at 1.9 in the, uh, the the trough here. There's another trough a bit further up, so again, I'll have to try and play with this one. But this one was in the loft space of a previous property, um, and it's uh, it, it got some okay results when I connected it to the, uh, the tracking software I use. So this is, uh, yeah, based on the same designs, I must have just cut this one slightly differently. And at some point, I'll have to actually work out what the difference is, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can improve the other one. Now I've actually connected the VNA up to another radar antenna. Um, I didn't show this one before because it's actually mounted in my loft, so I'll leave you with a picture. But this one's coming out at about 1.1, so quite a bit lower for 1090 megahertz. So this one should, and it does, give 
a lot better performance than some of the other ones I've tried so far. And this is the one that's connected most of the time to my radar tracking equipment. So hopefully that will give you a, a good point of comparison. So there you have it. I've just tried a few of them and I've actually put this digital video one back on and it's coming out at uh, 1.2 again. So it seems the, the, the better antenna and of course one that's been cut down to size will be, uh, be much more efficient than the one that, uh, that hasn't been or isn't resonance in the frequency you're interested in. But uh, by far my favourite is the PCB style antenna. Um, they're a lot more friendly, they're quite cheap. Um, and also you don't have to start cutting the uh, cutting the radio the uh, element down to size I've taken this one on uh, a couple of trips abroad um, I'm based in the UK um, flown with it a few times and nobody's batted an eyelid I've also had it out on the aircraft tracking while we've been uh, while we've been in flight and I've got some really good results on that even though the SWR was quite higher I have never tried travelling with that, and I don't think I'd want to with that uh, that point on the end. So I do keep a bit of foam on the end around the house, just so the little ones can't uh, can't get hold of it and, uh, and hurt themselves. So this has been the first video um, on antennas. I've got a selection of receivers for ADSB that I'll uh, like to do some comparisons. Hopefully, that's some of interest to some folks. Um, so yeah, if you uh, if you like this video, please let me know. If you've got any comments about how this could be, how these tests could be done better, or anything to improve, or any other antennas you'd like to see, then please let me know. I do have some um, amplifiers as well, some low noise amplifiers that I'll probably hook up, and I actually have one PCB style antenna that has a built-in LNA. Fortunately, if you don't power the LNA, then it actually comes out at very poor SWR and you don't really get much of a signal. So I don't think it was very fair to test it against these passive antennas that can receive without any uh, power and you don't need to actually provide 5 volts or anything to them to operate. So I'll uh, hook that one up later and give that a test. So please let me know in the comments down below if uh, there's anything I could improve on these tests or if there's any other antennas you'd like to see. I'll, uh, I'll read them and uh, answer sensible questions. Thanks very much, everybody. Bye now.